We recently bought a house, a tiny house upstate with a big piece of property. In this vlog series, I will be sharing with you our journey, things we're learning, and how it's impacting our lives, our businesses, as well as our well-being. Brooklyn into a 340 square foot cabin. So the reason why we made this move is because we were just so called to be in nature. I kept having visions of this forest cabin. We both work from home so we could make this move and it seemed so far away and so distant but then we started looking at properties on Zillow. We visited a few and this was the one and it was clear from the second visit. It just felt right. There's a lot of challenges that come with it. It's a very rural area with 100 people, but there's an equal or even bigger amount of joy. <laughs> our apple harvest is here. The fruits and vegetables in our garden are ripening. We've been using them in our meals. There's lots of foraging on the property. It started with wild strawberries in June. And then July was raspberries and now the blackberry season is here and so many animals, so many deer. We're really saddling in this country style living. Do you know what this is? I'm about to tell you. Follow me. This box has the answer to unannounced neighbor visits and animal visits too. So I've lived in the city my whole life and I've been in this house for about two months with some travel in between and we're learning our ways into this lifestyle and one of the things we realize is important is having a security system. So we are testing out the GuardLine security system, a sensor based system you install these little boxes around your property and then the alarm that you will have in the house or wherever you choose to, it will alert you when there's movement in front of the sensor. It is super easy to install. They have awesome customer service based here in the US and I'm excited to try them out. So while I'm making us food, I just grilled some broccoli and made tahini and avocado. Eric is figuring out how to install the guard line system. Food smells incredible. Choosing the signals that different alerts will play. So how's the installation so far? I love the Indiana Jones alarm. Eric is having a lot of fun. We're doing is because since moving into a house in forest, whenever people come to visit us unannounced, there's been a few very funny and awkward situations that we want to avoid in the future. And I also want to know when there's animals. So this is where the first sensor is going to go, right at our driveway. And we've got to clear some bushes, prickly bushes, to make it happen. First sensor is up, All right? So I'm hovering in front of the sensor, and the alarm in the background in the house is going crazy. Can you hear it? So you are supposed to install these one meter up off the ground, so that it registers big things and big animals, but doesn't register things like groundhogs, which we have plenty of. All right. So the sensor just went off on the guard line system and I knew it's because a deer is eating my apples and I was right. There he goes. Thanks for following our journey from New York City into a tiny home and once we are all settled I'm excited to give you a home tour. Welcome to my home. Empty cribs. 
Let me show you my rocks. <laughs> this looks like a good mushroom patch. Yeah, you have glued burnt. 